Lesson 10.1 is graphing points in four quadrants. So this should be a review, hopefully. What I want you to copy down in your notes is this graph. So I want you to copy down this graph and you're going to draw an X and Y axis. Make sure you label. This is the Y and this is the X. Okay, next I want you, this is called a coordinate plane. Okay, and then I want you to label the X and Y axis, obviously, and then I want you to do these quadrants, okay? Quadrants, right here, this is quadrant one. This is quadrant two. This is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. They do it in no Roman numerals, but you can just write one, two, three, and four, and notice it goes counterclockwise. It goes the opposite way of the clock. Next, I want you to label an ordered pair. An ordered pair is where you have a parenthesis, you have a number, and then you have another number. An ordered pair always goes X comma Y. It's like an alphabetical order, X and Y. And there is no Z because we're not into the third dimension. This is just two dimensional. That's why it's just X and Y. Next, I want you to label the origin. The origin is this point right here. It's like the middle, and it is zero, zero. That is the origin. And we have X coordinates and Y coordinates. You don't need to um, worry about those quite yet. That is the same as um, when you put X comma Y. So just make sure you have all of those labeled. Okay, so this one says, name the coordinates of A, B, and C in the graph above. So if I took point A, I would label it. I'd look right here and see, okay, here's point A. First you start here and you go over. One, two, three, four. So that is my X. I'm going over on the X axis. And then I'm going to go up 2. That is my Y. So if I wanted to name the coordinates, it would look just like this. I'd put a letter out front, whatever one I'm naming, which is A. Has to have a name. And then I put a parenthesis. And then I put 4, comma, 2. And then I put an end parenthesis. That tells me that A is at 4, over 4, up 2. So try B and C, and then we will go over it. All right, B is right here. I'm going to start at the origin again. I'm going to go over 1, so that's my first number, and then I'm going to go down 2, so then I have negative 2. You always go over and up or down, remember. I think um, a lot of your teachers at Highlands talk about a ladder. And if you're starting here at your house, you have to move the ladder before you can climb up it. So make sure you move it on this x-axis first. So point C is over here. I am going to move negative 5. Okay, I went over negative 5. And then I'm going to go down 3. So I'm going to go down to negative 3. So that is A, B, and C. All right, next it says, graph the point R, which is at negative 3, 5, and then tell me which quadrant the point lies. So just draw a quick little graph on your notebook and graph this point and then write what quadrant it's in. Okay, so I'm going to draw my X and Y axis. You don't always have to have graph paper. You can just do your best with what you're given. So draw your axis and then draw your points. Should do like four or five in each direction. Okay, now I'm going to do negative three. So I'm going to start here at the origin again. Remember, you always start at your house or your home base, which is zero, zero. And I'm going to go negative 3, so that is to the left 3, 
And then I'm going to go up five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make a dot. And I'm going to label that R. This is negative three comma five. And it is point R. I put a circle there because I'm labeling that point. And which quadrant does the point lie? Well, I know that this is quadrant one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. So it is in quadrant one. Two. All right, that is all for now.